Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at part two of my deep water culture hydroponic kit. Uh, the first video was for the unboxing, but now I'm ready to take these seedlings and put them directly into the um, hydroponic pail. So today is March 29th, about 10 days or so ago, I sowed a dozen lettuce seeds. There's six Mizuna and six Surrey arugula, that's S-U-R-R-E-Y. Uh, most of the seedlings have their first set of true leaves. And the, um, the root system isn't as developed as I would like it to be, but I'm going to transplant them anyway. I used four of the plugs that came with the kit, and the rest are Jiffy Peat pellets. I didn't do anything special. I didn't soak the seeds or anything. I just made sure that the um, plugs and the pellets were fully hydrated. Uh, then I just put them into the Jiffy container that I've used for other things and put the lid on. And once the seeds sprouted, I took the lid back off. The only thing I did, these pieces here, I took a serrated knife and I cut a little bit off the bottom of the plug to make it sit in the container a little bit better. And this is the um, aggregate. It, it definitely needs to get rinsed before you use it because it's got a lot of dust in there. Uh, so I chose the lettuce for a, a few reasons. Um, it's, uh, it's a cool season crop. It has a fast you know, seed to harvest time of about a month. And I think it, uh, it, it can tolerate a little more alkalinity than some other plants. I did some research uh, in general on hydroponics and what I found was that uh, the um, best conditions for the roots to be able to take up the nutrients is a pH of about 6.0 and a temperature of between 65 and 90. But my system's not going to be anything remotely close to that. I'm using municipal water and it's got a pH of about 6.5 to 6.7 and I'm not going to put any um, pH modifier in that. I'm just going to use it straight out of the tap and the temps in the basement are chilly 52 to 54 degrees. So I don't know how the lettuce is going to do but I'm going to give it a shot. The nutrients are going to come from Fox Farm Grow Big Concentrate. I've used Fox Farm products outside for many many years and I've always been very happy with them so I'm sure that they're indoor products are going to be just as good. So I'm going to take these seedlings and uh, transplant them into the mesh pots. Then I'm going to bring them down the basement and set up the bucket. And once I get that done, uh, I'll go down there and show you what I have for a setup. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I've got the seedlings transplanted and uh, we're down here in the basement. I've got the lights raised up so you could see the setup that I made. I had to change the shelving around a little bit because the five gallon pail wouldn't fit in between the shelves. So I made a, a light stand out of PVC. Uh, the air pump is hooked up. Now it's making a little bit of noise, but it's sitting on a hollow box. So I think that's part, you're getting an echo from the hollow box. Uh, the air stone, it's agitating the water very well. And it's keeping the bottom of the mesh pots very moist. Put that on there. The temperature is 55 degrees with 61 percent humidity, which is much higher humidity than it was back in January. I did the microgreen experiment. Now I didn't want to run the lights just for the four small lettuces in the hydroponic system, so I planted uh, some of the other mizuna and arugula into soil. So it's kind of like an A-B testing of hydroponics versus soil. We'll have to see what happens. That soil is just regular. Uh, it's Coast of Maine compost mixed with Fox Farms Light Warrior potting mix. So anyway, the lights are on for about 14 hours a day. There's one single T5 bulb there in the front and the other one is a regular shop light with a warm bulb and one blue cool bulb. So uh, today is March 29th and uh, I'll do another update once there's a little bit more growth on the lettuce. So I'll see you then. Today is April 12th and I did, uh, it's been about two weeks and I did my first full reservoir change. So that's the uh, water with the Fox Farm Grow Big in it. And of course I had to shut the air pump off to do the water change. These are the lettuces growing in the soil. Uh, three Mizuna and the arugula is in the upper left. The temp is 55 degrees with 51% humidity. And these are the um, hydroponic lettuces. They're doing pretty good. Um, the root system, uh, hopefully you can see that. They are starting to uh, grow down out of the uh, mesh baskets. And they're growing a little bit faster 
and are a little bit larger than the soil based lettuces so I'm just going to I just want to do a really quick update I'm going to keep going and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks today is April 22nd so it's been about three and a half weeks since I did the first segment on March 29th and these are the lettuces they didn't do too bad considering the adverse growing conditions and my total lack of experience we've got the three mizuna and this is the one arugula uh, there's two jiffy pea pellets and two plugs from the kit and the, the jiffy pellets seem to do just fine um, I should have planted the plugs a little bit deeper um, that's why there's so much clay pellets on the top I tried to make like a little mulch to keep the top of the pellets uh, a little more moist now the root system came out pretty good uh, if you saw the first part of the video there was next to no root system when they got transplanted so I'm pretty happy about that and that's in less than 30 days now I did have to change the bucket uh, when I turned the siphon tube to drain some of the water out like that it started to leak down here on the bottom uh, so I moved them to a food grade bucket that I got at Lowe's now this seems to be working all right now uh, maybe there was something caught in there when I first turned it, but I didn't want to take a chance, so I left it in the new bucket. Now, when I planted the hydroponic lettuces, I also planted four lettuces in soil, and they did well. Same three mizuna, and here's your arugula. But this is a more traditional method of planting lettuces, and it's a three gallons of premium potting mix, so it wasn't cheap either. Uh, I'm intrigued enough with the hydroponic system that I have purchased a six inch deep mesh lid and I'll play around with that in a few months I only do this in the winter time now the uh, five gallon pail for lettuces which is what I really want to grow most of all is a little bit overkill but the shallow kits uh, were roughly double the price so I'm gonna make this homemade one that I'm working on now I just bought some extra mesh pots and I'm drilling the holes and we'll just have to see what happens so anyway I hope this little video helped uh, even if you don't know anything about uh, hydroponics you can read reviews and watch videos and read books but at some point you gotta just jump in there and give it a shot so I hope you do that and good luck with your hydroponic experiment and thanks for watching